Hello all, nice to see you again in this lesson number two of these AutoCAD uh, video training lessons. Um, now that you've been introduced to the AutoCAD window in the previous lesson number one, uh, we are ready to see a few commands, basic commands that for sure are going to be seen deeper uh, as long as uh, we will release new video lessons. Okay, the first thing I want to show you today is about selecting a existing file. Okay, and for that purpose, I have this quick access toolbar, but I want to do it on the proper way and going to this icon here and, and say open, select the type of drawing I'm going to work with. We'll see a normal one, DWG, drawing format. So, and uh, I can choose inside my computer, okay, uh, along the folders you have. Okay, I will use uh, one of the sample files that AutoCAD installs with a standard installation procedure, okay. So basically, I have a couple of files. I will choose this one, multi leaders. It can be uh, each of the files, no, no big issues. Um, the first important thing to notice here is about the preview that you have in this uh, upper right corner. If this is not been seen, you can go to this option, views, click on the arrow and in this case it is selected but if you take it out you see there is not uh, any preview so put it again preview and you have this preview of the drawing so multi leaders and open okay no problem for the purpose it is okay and um, you see that this drawing in particular uh, it was opened on a new environment that we are going to see better uh, up front in this training course. And basically, this is called layout view. And this layout view can be identified by this gray background and this white uh, paper format uh, look. Okay. Uh, this is a kind of a preparation environment that allows us to uh, create a lot of things only with the purpose of printing or plotting um, deeper on, um, later on. So, and you can um, go to one environment to the other only in these tabs here. You have the model layout uh, the model tab and the model tab has your drawing you have it here okay and the layout that now it was created by default because this file already had it um, you can prepare this for printing but basically it's to show you the difference okay um, so you can have several layouts and so on this will be seen later but for now i want to go to the model and to make some operations inside uh, please just notice this case which is this is the same this is a, a file that, that i've opened this is the same file but you see that this drawing in, in this layout has a lot of information uh, different from this model layout so you see that uh, on the layout uh, we can add information and entities to prepare that for the printing okay the the, the same topic again uh, now that we are in this model environment uh, which is the environment where we create entities i want to show you the concept of the zoom Okay, the zoom can be zoom in, zoom out, and with up, uh, with other options. But basically, 
it's the idea to get a closer look okay and i'm doing this closer look only rotating the wheel of my mouse okay in one direction on the uh, or the other and this is this has the effect to see closer i have another option coming in this navigation bar i have this option here with the arrow below uh, where I can open all these options for the zoom and I have a lot of them zoom in zoom out uh, Which is basically uh, The 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 command I was doing with the wheel of my mouse Getting closer look or far away and I have this for example zoom window, which I like a lot uh, That will do a zoom for a rectangle for a window that I will choose now and in the first lesson I've, I've said that it is very important to look to this area here which is the command line because here the AutoCAD talk with the user and now that I've gone to this zoom window command now is asking for something specify first corner so I must click somewhere in my in, in my screen so I will click with my mouse left mouse button drag and you see in the command line specify opposite corner so I must give another click and the effect is this one okay there are a lot of things um, different zoom options let us uh, notice this one um, I could uh, do this same zoom and all the other commands have this kind of shortcuts on the keyboard you will learn as long as we go in this training course but for example for the zoom I could click in my keyboard the Z do the enter okay and then you see that in my command line I have a lot of options okay and one of the options is also window and window has the blue letter with the W so if I do in my keyboard again W and enter again I'm on the exact same position specify first corner and now click with the mouse click with the mouse the same the same thing okay um, I can have another possibility which is coming to this view tab and uh, um, this view tab has also options for dealing with with the zoom basically the same options um, and when I go to each one of these tabs okay let us concentrate on the view but this is the same concept for each one of them in this area that if you remember from the previous lesson I call the ribbon I can click here with my right mouse button and see what are the options that are shown or not in these show panels okay I have these possible uh, tabs to show and I want to see this navigate one okay you see it add one one um, group of commands and this group has the zoom if I click on the arrow you see all the same options that I had in my navigation bar with a window also so if I click here again I'm on the same position and I can open a window to get a closer look so this is to show you that um, with all these commands we have several ways to do things here okay not only just one way um, another concept that I want to pass you is to save a file and before I show you how to save a file I want to let you know that it is um, it's a good idea uh, to save your file often okay 
um, to avoid lose information. Again, if I go to the A icon, I can do the save, the normal one, and the save will use the name by default, okay, that the file already has. Or if I want to save with a different name, I go to the save as drawing, and basically I can give a different name and do save. And now, okay, in this particular case, this file has no permission, okay, but this is a particular problem for this file, okay. Uh, it is important for you to know also that uh, in the options um, we have defined uh, and this is a standard procedure of the installation uh, we have automatic uh, saving uh, each 10 minutes so in the drawing area if you click with your right mouse button you can go to the options and define the frequency of that save you have a lot of things here we will see all of these things for now i just want to show you basically the um, automatic save file location which is it is in this path here and this is where the autocad is saving all these automatic uh, savings okay and you have file safety precautions uh, automatic save each 10 minutes okay um, for example uh, if you want to see uh, that same path you can come here and write save file path, uh, yeah save file path and you see that you have this definition here that you can change by all means. Um, basically also uh, these automatic file savings are done uh, with the file name you have and uh, uh, a number up front and the extension of the file is uh, SV$ dollar. Okay. Uh, if you have a problem, you can go to one of these files, which would be the, the, the latest one, um, and change it to DWG, and you'll be able to open uh, the file, okay? And then start working on them. Um, let, let me, I will do the escape to, to get out of the command now, okay? Um, but I think it is important to, to show you also, for example, how to modify one drawing. And I think that is the purpose of, uh, one of the main purpose of the program. You can create things, but you can modify them at your own will. Um, and this group of commands here, this modify is among other things, but it is the most important one to change entities. So I will go to this one it seems uh, like a match and it is the arrays and the arrays allow me to in this particular case probably we, we should have problems because all of this is a kind of a group but if i click in something okay this is protected so it's not let me see if i can oh, yeah, everything it is protected okay so I, I i don't have luck to show you how to erase uh, something okay but anyway it's the idea uh, now I can draw something because I want to show you one other characteristic of, of the program which is the working with multiple files that uh, I think it's all you already understood from our previous lesson when I told you that we could have several tabs with drawings done so I can add a new one, okay, um, I can close this one here, I don't want to save it, and I have now drawing one, drawing two, and for example on drawing one, I will create on the draw group, I will create a rectangle, simple one, no fuss about, and um, basically 
um, I can I can uh, copy, for example, uh, this is one of the advantages to work with multiple files. Uh, I can copy this entity or others to one of the other files. Okay. What I'm doing it is I have this tab here. I can copy the entities I want for this one or vice versa. But how to do this? So I can choose the entities, click on, on top of them. I can come to this group here, clipboard. You have the paste, you see, the cut and the copy. So copy. Now I go to the drawing tool tab and I can come here and do the paste. You see it is grabbed now and I can click it wherever I want. There are other possibilities that I can use, not only this one, but um, this is to show you, um, this is to show you one practical way with the commands uh, you have inside your software. Okay. Um, so basically these are a couple of ideas to start introducing to some uh, basic concepts of AutoCAD and uh, with, these, uh, with these topics uh, this lesson is, is done and I hope to have you here around in, uh, on the lesson number three that we will release in one or two days.